And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we're going to play News of the Day for the 18th of April, 2024. It's the series where we play a GeoGuessr game and try to find locations of five major news, sports, entertainment events from around the, around the world and find out where they are on the map and learn a little bit about the news. So we're going to get to this game the way that we play this game is we do this as a no time limit moving panning zooming allowed challenge. The play along link if you want to play along will be in the description below. Also the links to the news articles will be in the description below as well uh, so you can check them out there. All right, so let's get into the game. Let's see where the first round takes us, and it takes us to Indonesia and the volcano. So I'm not sure if you've seen this or not, but a pretty spectacular volcano with electrical storms, all kinds of stuff. And there's a fear that this uh, volcano might uh, collapse into the sea nearby, causing a tsunami. So let's look at the article here, Volcano Erupts in Indonesia. Alert level raised to highest. A volcano erupted several times in Indonesia's outermost region Wednesday with the authorities raising the alert level to its highest after the dome spewed a column of smoke more than a mile into the sky, forcing hundreds to evacuate. Mount Ruang, a stratovolcano in the North Sulawesi province, erupted Tuesday and four times on Wednesday. Uh, the peak has a 725 meter um, elevation above sea level and uh, so yeah so you can read this article here on um, this website here fizz.org but we're going to find out where this is this is the actual location there's the mountain uh, that's spewing all that ash and clouds into the sky okay so here's Indonesia we're going to locate this on the map so everybody knows where this is here's North Sulawesi um, the island is here. So here it is. We're on this side of the island. But as you take a look out here, any type of potential tsunami could uh, impact any of the areas around here, uh, Indonesia, Philippines, and uh, there we go. So there we are for the first round. Let's see that. That's exactly where we are. Mount Ruang Volcano. So it's an interesting thing going on in that part of the world. Also, just real quick on volcanoes, I know there's one in Iceland as well, and I saw something about uh, Northern Lights with that one. So a lot of fire going on, the Ring of Fire, they said, uh, but the Ring of Fire, Atlantic, Pacific, a lot of stuff going on in the world. Okay, off to the next round, the next news event of the day. We've got a German-looking town. Here, the Lutpoldplatz, and... Uh, Beautiful German city here. Uh, and why are we here? Well, we got a case of German spying. Two men held over suspected Russian sabotage plots. What's this about? So two alleged spies, spies suspected of planning to sabotage German military aid for Ukraine have been arrested in Bavaria. Uh, the two men, described as dual German-Russian nationals, were detained in Beirut on suspicion of spying for Russia. They also said authorities had pre prevented possible explosive attacks. Not sure what that's about. Uh, They're scouting U.S. military facilities and other sites. Uh, they've alleged to fought for a Russian proxy armed force in Ukraine. Um, so yeah, this is pretty interesting. Uh, Germany is the second largest donor military to Ukraine after the U.S. And uh, yeah, so a lot of stuff going on here. It also says here um, this U U.S. Army facility in Bavaria was spied on as well. Uh, so a lot of stuff going on. I guess this happens all the time. Most of us aren't aware of it, uh, but a pretty good article here uh, on BBC talking about this. So we're going to try to find the town of Byruth uh, where they're being detained and maybe look at a location uh, where this is actually the town of Byruth. So we need to find that on the map. You see here, here's Ukraine, but Germany. Um, Byruth is... Here we are. Northern, I guess, Bavaria. That's where they're being detained. But one of the locations mentioned in the articles where 
they were spying on a U.S. military facility down here in Grafenbohr. Uh, so here they've um, obviously there's a lot of U.S. military facilities in Germany. But for this, we're looking at Bayreuth. That's where this town is. As I'm sure some of you will probably have to move around uh, for this one to figure this out. But, but in any case, um, I think we're here right in the center, River Main, uh, here. So they're being detained. But again, like I said, a lot of stuff goes on like this throughout probably Europe and the world. Most of us don't know, but this uh, came out uh, today. The German Russian spies there for the second round. The third round, what we have is the Etihad, Manchester City, playing host to Real Madrid yesterday. And um, pretty interesting picture. If you hadn't seen this before. Um, but Manchester, Manchester City's troubled dreams left in tatters by Carlos Anch Carlo Ancelotti's Real Madrid. Carlo Ancelotti strolled nonchal nonchalantly away from the scene of carnage as Manchester City's dreams were left in tatters by the great champion league survivors. So Real went through 4-3 to three on penalties after the tie ended 4-4 to four on aggregate. And uh, it'll be interesting. I didn't expect that. I watched a little bit of it to start. I know Modric uh, did not make his penalty. I had to leave at that point. He couldn't stay around. I got other, had other commitments. But I saw that and I thought, you know, when I leave, it looks like it's not going to be Real Madrid tonight. However, they uh, prevail and they move on to the next round of the Champions League. Arsenal also going down. So no more English teams left in the semifinals of the Champions League, right? So there we are, the Etihad, the last time the Etihad will see Champions League soccer for this particular season. We'll see it next year. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's look up where the Etihad is. Manchester uh, United Kingdom. It's about to say Manchester United, but it's Manchester United Kingdom. There's Old Trafford and the Etihad across the city of Manchester. So I think there we are, right about there, 5,000 points. Uh, let me know who you think in the comments down below. Who's going to win the Champions League this year? Is it going to be Bayern, FC Bayern? Is it going to be Real Madrid? I have a thinking. I, I My guess and my prediction is that FC Bayern, Harry Kane, will win a trophy. and It will be the Champions League trophy at Wembley. There we go. That's my call. That's what I'm sticking with. It could be, well, we'll see. Anyway, on to the next round. And we've got Finland here. We've got the Finnish flag at the top of this building. And what is this building here in the, looks like Helsinki. We've got the Finnish government. And we've got the Ministry of Defense. So why is this news of the day today? The 18th of April, well, here we are, the interesting news event of the day. So not everything's going to be war and all this stuff. This one's a little different. This is defense forces in Finland issued bras. Defense force issued bras find little support among female troops. The chair of the conscripts union says that hopefully it won't take another 30 years for the military to revamp the ill-fitting uniform pieces. So, since the beginning of the year, the Finnish Defense Forces have been testing the new M23 combat uniform in the northern units of Lapland. This kit includes new underwear designed for both men and women, including bras. Alina Ruita says, we have been waiting 30 years for the Army to introduce underwear designed for women. This is a very welcome and much needed reform. Voluntary military service for women in Finland began in 1995. Unlike their male counterparts, female service members are not conscripted. But the Conscript Union of Finland also resent, represents female volunteers. Until now, women had to wear their own undergarments, such as sports bras. So there we are. New bras in Finland for the military. There we are. So you can read the rest of the article here on this Finnish news site. Well, where do we? Where is this? This is, I guess, where all the decisions are probably made. Ministry of Defense to 
come up with what type of browse they should select. And uh, we need to find out that location in Helsinki, the Ministry Defense. So I think, I think we're here, right in front of the Pulistus Ministerio in Finland. That's where we are. All right, we get off to the fifth and final round, and we already have a location here. It's easy to see. It's Toronto Pearson International Airport in Canada. Why are we in Toronto? Why are we at the airport? Well, it's a pretty interesting story. An airline worker was among six arrested in a $22 million airport gold heist. Police say it was an inside job. Typically, when these things happened, when there's anything like this, it's usually an inside job, usually. Uh, employees on the inside giving the information. So six people have been arrested in last year's multi-million dollar gold heist at Toronto Pearson's International Airport, police in Canada, and the U.S. said Wednesday. Not sure why the U.S. is involved here, but in any case, police have also issued arrest warrants for three others in what they described as an inside job. All nine suspects have been charged with 19 counts. On April 17th, 2023, almost a year ago, a year and a day, an air cargo container carrying more than 22 million Canadian dollars worth of gold bars and foreign currency was stolen from a secure storage facility using fake paperwork. The golden currency had just arrived on an Air Canada flight from Zurich, Switzerland. Interesting. How would they have known this, right? There's somebody on the inside, right? Um, they needed people inside Air Canada to fac facilitate this theft, Detective Sergeant Mike Mavity, Mav Mavity of the Peel Regional Police said, adding that his opinion is this was an inside job. $22 million worth of gold bars. So I wonder how heavy that is on the plane. I wonder what the weight of that and the currency, That's that would be interesting. Um, the investigation dubbed Project 24 Carat involved the Pennsylvania Division of the U.S. US Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Um, interesting. Interesting story on this. Um, with this gold heist. Um, again, this takes a coordinated effort. But the other thing I question I have is golden currency. What? What? Why is it in Zurich, and why is it coming? Why is it going to Canada? What's the purpose of that? There's got to be a lot of transport of gold, uh, given the economy and the way the world economics are going from country to country, inflation going crazy, uh, wars and all kinds of stuff. Gold is always a store, uh, is, is a item of value. And I wonder how much of this stuff is being transported. Here, it's $22 million. That's a lot. So uh, interesting. Love to know your thoughts on this one. Love to know your thoughts on the Finnish story. That's an interesting one as well, especially as a lot of you watch from Finland. Uh, and then, yeah, the volcano. That's going to be another thing to keep an eye on. And as usual, we always like sports here. We like football, so we'll have that. And we'll continue with the News of the Day uh, episodes. I think a lot of people like this. If you like this, let me know in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts on News of the Day, if there's anything you should do differently. But I enjoy this sort of stuff. Probably going to be putting this more on a daily basis on, on the Twitter uh, my Twitter or X, um, I'll probably put news of the day up there. I also share a lot of news articles if you're interested in that stuff with maps so that there's more to come there. So stay tuned. But yeah, any, any thoughts and suggestions are welcome. Always feel free to comment down below. Send me a DM at, uh, over at X or send me an email at all over the map two, three at gmail.com. And with that said, let's figure out where we are because I can't forget the last round as I go on about this. We're at Toronto Pearson's International Airport, which, to be quite honest, it's a little outside. And I wasn't quite sure where it was, but I saw it there pop up. And there we are, Toronto Pearson, 5,000 points in this game, got 25,000 points. Toronto, Manchester City, Helsinki, Bavaria, and Indonesia for this day, April 18th, the 18th of April, 2024 on News of the Day. With that said, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.